Welcome everyone to the September edition of the Good News Report. I'm Justine Ellsbury. And I'm Hunter Schimmick. We've got a lot of exciting stories from around the district today, so let's dive right in. Kicking things off, Vanilla Elementary had a blast during homecoming week. High school football players and cheerleaders greeted students on Monday morning, and we'd like to extend a big thank you to the high school coaches and staff for making that happen. Almost all the students got involved with dress-up days, and many were seen cheering at the homecoming parade. And it's great news for Winola's preschool program. Enrollment numbers are up this year. The morning classes are full, and the afternoon sections are filling fast. Huge kudos to Miss Lisa, Miss Caitlin, Miss Amber, Miss Carrie, Miss Holly, Miss Jennifer, and Miss Patty for their dedication to helping our youngest tigers thrive every day. Now over to Sherrard Elementary. Attendance has been fantastic with over 96% daily attendance for the first month of school. Keep up the great work, students. And speaking of generosity, Sherrard Elementary received two $100 community donations to help cover negative student lunch balances. We're grateful to those who made this possible. Homecoming spirit was high as high school cheerleaders and football players also visited Sherrard Elementary to kick off the week. The younger students loved spending time with their role models and high school students enjoyed being greeters. The SGS PTO is on fire this year. They all prepare the book fair, are hosting a chores and s'mores event this Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. to clean up the playground, and have even organized a holiday family photo event in November, where half of the proceeds will go back to support the school. Thank you, PTO. Moving on to Matherville Intermediate, bus evacuations took place on August 23rd, and our bus drivers did an amazing job teaching students about safety procedures. It's important to know how to safely exit the bus in case of an emergency. Band season is in full swing at Matherville. The annual band kickoff has begun. Instruments are ordered and the halls are filled with sound. Those high-pitched squeaks you hear, now they'll be transformed into beautiful music by the winter concert. We can't wait. Now, let's talk high school sports. The cross-country team has had an incredible season so far, with strong finishes and personal records at various invites. The team is gearing up for the postseason and we'll know they'll do great. The volleyball team is off to a fantastic start, winning championships at both Mantino and Spring Valley Hall. Keep it up, Tigers! Homecoming week at the high school was a hit. In addition to visits from the football, cheer, and band teams at the elementary schools, SHS also hosted its first ever Tiger tailgate on Wednesday, followed by the Battle of the Classes. A big success all around. We also had a fantastic activity fair organized by Senora Ana Lopez. We've seen a significant increase in club participation, including the Library Teen Advisory Board, which has doubled in size. These students are full of creative ideas for lunch programs. And some exciting news from the SHS Band. They competed in the Milan Harvest Festival's Battle of the Bands competition and took home $2,500. Congratulations. Speaking of success stories, Bill Hammes recently reconnected with a graduate who shared how much the agricultural and vocational classes helped him in school. He credited the FFA program with keeping him engaged and on the right path. Today he's gainfully employed and he attributes most of his success to that program. And let's not forget about Dan McGuire, who's been doing an outstanding job filling in as interim administrator for the district. He's built strong connections with students and staff and we're lucky to have him on the team. And now for what we consider the best for last, our junior high. The Sherrard Junior High football team had, a, had an epic comeback win. Down 21-0 in the first half, the Tigers rallied after a motivational halftime speech, scoring a touchdown with just .4 seconds left in the half. They dominated the second half with Ari Wade scoring four touchdowns, bringing the final score to 36-27 for their first win of the season. That's right. Our junior high cross country teams are having a stellar season with the number of runners doubling since last year. Special shout out to Jackson Winter and Althea Gnadovich for meddling in their recent varsity races. Jackson placing 10th in the 7th grade boys race and Althea placing 7th in the 8th grade girls race respectively. Finally, the junior high choir students are prepping for auditions for, for the ILMEA district choirs. They'll be competing virtually with students across the state for the chance to sing at Augustana College and potentially for the first annual Junior High All-State Choir. Best of luck to all of our talented vocalists. That wraps up our good news report for September. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, stay positive, Tigers. See you next time. Okay, that was yeah. good. That was good. That was good. A couple of mistakes. <laughs> We need to have good posture. <laughs> the SGS PTO is on fire this year. They helped prepare the book fair, are hosting a chores and s'mores this event from 
This Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh Every day. Now over to Sherrard Elementary. We had something out with the camera, so just oh. being like the front of your face is just in a trip. Do, do you want me to like move a little bit? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we at the high school was a, uh, was a hit. Oh shoot! Can we restart? Yeah. <laughs> shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! Sorry. This goes on the blooper then.